Welcome to an Achieving Science video. This video is going to look at the motor effect. When a conductor carrying a current is placed in a magnetic field, the magnet producing the field and the conductor exert a force on each other. Let's have a look at this in a diagram. So here we have two magnets. We have opposite poles on the magnets. And therefore we can now place a wire carrying current between them where the current is going into the magnets as shown via the arrow on the diagram. Now we can predict the direction of movement of this wire and to do this we use a rule, the left hand rule. Let's now have a look at the left hand rule. This is shown in the diagram where the thumb shows the motion, the first finger shows the magnetic field and the second finger shows the current. So. The field goes from north to the south pole. Now use your left hand to work out the direction of the force. First, point your first finger in the direction of the field. Now point the second finger in the direction of the current. You should have your thumb pointing upwards. This shows the motion. Now what happens if you reverse the current? Well, if you reverse the current, it will move downwards as the force is in the opposite direction. Try this with your left hand. So in conclusion, the direction of the force on the conductor can be reversed by first of all reversing the direction of the current, secondly reversing the direction of the magnetic field. How then can you increase the force? Well the force could be increased by any of the following increasing the magnetic flux density, increasing the size of the current, increasing the length of the wire between the poles. If you remember the equation B I L, this will also remind you of the factors that increase the force. Now let's have a look at an electric motor. The picture shows a coil of wire between two magnets. When a current flows around this coil, the coil experiences a force. In order to work out the direction, we also need to know then the direction of the magnetic field and the direction of the current. So let's have go back to the diagram. Here the red stands for the north pole and the green stands for the south. Therefore the direction of the magnetic field is to the right. The current is flowing in to the coil. Now using the left hand rule you can work out the force on each side. Remember the current is going around the coil and therefore travelling in opposite directions on either side. So going into the motor on one side and coming out of the motor on the other. So using the left hand rule you can determine the force on the north side is therefore downwards. As where the force on the right hand side, the south side, is therefore upwards. As you can see on one side the force is downwards and the other is upwards. This causes the motor to rotate in an anti-clockwise direction.